We are going to be going over how to find the square root, to, how to use the square root method. So our steps are going to be, if you remember, pandas. So we do, we check, we're going to work backwards. We're going to see if we can first add or subtract. Then we're going to see if we can multiply or divide. And our last step is to square root both sides. So let's try it. So in problem number one, we check. Can we add or subtract? No, there's nothing with the x squared we can add or subtract. We can't multiply or divide, so we square root both sides. And we get x equals plus or minus 6. Um, problem number two, it's the same thing. There's no value being added to it or multiplied, so I square root both sides and get x equals plus or minus 4.36. b squared is all by itself. We can't add or subtract, can't multiply or divide. Square root both sides, b equals plus or minus 2. x squared is by itself, nothing's being added or subtracted, nothing's in front being multiplied. Square root x equals plus or minus 4. Nothing being added, nothing being multiplied. Square root both sides, a equals plus or minus 5. Same thing, a squared is by itself, square root, a equals plus or minus 3. r squared by itself, square root it, r equals, you don't need to have plus or minus 0, but if you put it, that's fine. Number 8, a squared is by itself, square root both sides, a equals plus or minus 9.11. On number 9, k squared is by itself, so we square root both sides. k equals plus or minus 6.71. and squared is by itself, square root both sides, and equals plus or minus 8.83. On number 11, add or subtract. This time, I can actually subtract that 7 over. We get m squared, that cancels, equals 90. Nothing I can multiply or divide by, so now I'm going to square root both sides. So that m equals plus or minus 9.48. On problem 12, we have a minus 3 that's attached to the credit squared. To undo it, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. k squared equals 81. Can't multiply or divide. k squared's by itself, so I square root it. And k equals plus or minus 9. On 13... Once again, we have a plus 3 attached to our x squared, so we're going to subtract it. x squared equals 10. Now that x squared is by itself, we can square root it. x equals 3.16. Oops, I forgot. Plus or minus. 14. We have a negative 3 attached to n squared, so we're going to add it n squared equals 14. n squared is by itself, so now to get rid of that power, we square root. n equals plus or minus 3.74. Alright, now 
we have 7x squared. So right now that 7 and that x squared are being multiplied by each other. So to undo multiplication, I need to divide by 7, both sides so that it cancels out. x squared equals 29. Now x squared is by itself, so I can square root x equals plus or minus 5.3. On 16, I have 3a squared. They're being multiplied. To undo, I divide. a squared equals 49. a squared is by itself, so to get rid of that power, I square root. a equals plus or minus 7. 17. 25 is being multiplied by that n squared. To get rid of it, I need to divide by 25. So those cancel out. n squared equals 1 over 25. This one's going to look a little weird because it's a fraction. When I square root it, to simplify, all I need to think about is what's the square root of 1 and what's the square root of 25. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 25 is there we go, one fifth. So on 28, when we have a similar case, we have 25 being multiplied by p squared. Oops, that's a 25. Divide by 25. p squared equals 81 divided by 25. When I square root it, we're going to get the square root of 81 over the square root of 25. Square root of 81 is a 9. Square root of 25 is a 5. Let's say you didn't want to write it that way and you just entered it into your calculator. If you wrote it as a decimal, so plus or minus 1.8, I would also accept that. On 21, it's getting a little bit harder. Now I have to remember I asked myself if I can add or subtract first. I can add that to Once I have added that 2, I ask, can I multiply or divide? I can divide by 25. x squared equals 64 divided by 25. And once x squared is by itself, we square root it. And let's say I just entered this in how it is. I would get a decimal of plus or minus 1.6. And if I simplified it, the square root of 64 is 8, square root of 25 is 5. Both of those answers would be correct. 22, <clears throat> can I add or subtract? Can I multiply or divide? X squared by itself, so now I square root both sides. <coughs> so x equals plus or minus 9.05. Next example, can I add or subtract? Can I multiply or divide? Then once x squared is by itself, I square root. The square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. <coughs> and our last example for square root method, we look, can I add or subtract anything? I can subtract, let's see, there's a few ways you could go about this, but I'm just going to get this number with the other number over here. I'm going to leave m squared alone. So I'm going to add that 7 to both sides. Okay. 
can I multiply or divide? Now, once I get m squared by itself, I'm going to square root it. And m will equal plus or minus 7.68. And that is how you use the square root method to solve a quadratic equation.